Hey, thanks, Brittany. Good morning. Um, as we think about the challenges that we face as a community and as, as an organization in the different areas, one thing we think about is our goals. And a lot of times we look at goals and we look at things for our community and we say, well, one day I'm going to do this and one day I'm going to do that. Just one day, one day, one day. Well, here at Bridge Builders, we decided last year when we started that we're going to take that one day and make it more than just a thought and make it a reality. And that is what the One Day Initiative is. It's basically taking that one day and making something that brings us together is actually going to create an actionable item, not just lip service, but actually doing the work to connect our ideas and also impact our community. One way we do that last year is that we took the teams. We all volunteered. And we all joined the team, and we created that team. And once we created the team, we picked an organization that we thought could use our help, and we put our ideas together, and we picked a day. Last year was around April, but we, more importantly, we picked the day that we're going to take the need of that organization and address it directly. And it has been incredible, from, from not just from the people that give in that one day, but those that have received in that one day. But don't just take my word for it. I'd like to share with you a brief video on how the One Day Initiative took place and what it did for our community. Tuscaloosa Angels is a wonderful community partner with their focus on supporting our local foster children through intentional giving, building healthy relationships, and mentoring young minds to realize their full potential. During our Bridge Builders One Day Service Project, we partnered with the Tuscaloosa Angels to have an Easter egg hunt for the kids. But COVID-19 had other plans. Despite this challenge, we switched gears so that one day we would still make a difference. We're here with Samantha Vasey, Director of Community Relations for Tuscaloosa Angels. Let's hear firsthand how the One Day Initiative reached our foster care community. Thanks, Jennifer. And like you said, we were all set to have the best Easter egg hunt ever. And the pandemic came along, along with social distancing. So we had to find a way to still reach our foster families while keeping them and our team safe. Instead of an Easter egg hunt, we began collecting essential items that our foster families needed in response to COVID-19. Things like diapers, snacks, art supplies, and other materials to make staying at home more bearable. That's awesome, Samantha. Did you deliver the supplies to the individual families or was there a drop-off point? Tell us how that worked. Yeah, so in addition to partnering with Alabama One Team and getting the word out through their branches, we also took to our social media and reached out to our network to gain support for this initiative. Donations were dropped off at University Church of Christ, and we were able to coordinate the distribution from there. It truly was a collective effort, and the end result was happy children and families who had a little less to stress about over this challenging time. And that's why we're here. We want to address the needs of our foster families and support them in a way that improves the quality of life for our local children. This was one day where our combined efforts helped create an act of kindness that will be remembered long after the snacks have been eaten and the crayons have been worn down. More importantly, it's just one of the many ways we continue to give back and support our community as a lifestyle and not just as an event. 